Hey, I wrote you this letter so that I can get some things off my chest that have been bothering me. And I'm sure that if I was you, I would be waiting on me to speak on what I'm about to say. So that's what this is about. First and foremost, I mean, with everything that I got, I can't, I can't, I'm so sorry for rejecting your love, for toying with it, for not respecting it, cherishing it, admiring it and revering it for what it truly is, a blessing and a godsend. I'm sorry I pushed you away. I thought, I thought I had it all figured out. I thought I knew what was best for me and it did not include love. I was consumed in all kinds of other ways. Love wasn't even on my radar. It was, it was not on the table for me. But then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, came the most intense spark. It was, it electrified me. You electrify me. Even thinking back on it in this moment right now, I'm still feeling that intense, inexplicable draw and attraction. I knew in my heart, in my soul, I knew in that moment. But since then, I mean... <laughs> Again, this is coming from the truth of me not being ready for your love. Even though in that moment I had recognized something shift in me, something clicked, something activated, something happened to me when I saw you. And ever since then, a part of me has been trying to fight it, trying not to succumb to your wealth of love. I've been holding myself back. I've been scared to go all in. One, because I don't know how it's going to affect me, what it's going to do to me. I don't know how it's going to affect the plan that I thought I had for my life. I don't know what it's going to do to me. Because of the feeling that I got initially, if that was just from seeing you, imagine... I, I could I can't I couldn't fathom what being with you would be like. And so I shied away. I pulled away from you when all I wanted to do, all I still want to do is just jump, dive head first, cannonball style into your love. I 
I needed, I needed to mature emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally. I needed to grow up. I knew that you needed somebody that you could depend on. And I knew that I was inconsistent. I was aware that there was a part of me fighting, even though the other part of me, the part of me that I'm speaking with now did not want to fight. I wanted to just give in to you. But the fear part of me, it started down talking me and telling me how I was no good and how everything I had ever touched had fallen apart and how you needed somebody so much better than me. And I believed it. I believed that voice in my head. And I ended up walking away from the person that whose light of life illuminates the darkest depths of my dreary, weary, hopeless soul. I'm sorry I pushed your love away when all I wanted to do was bask in it. I don't know why I fought. I don't know why I ran. I don't know why I did anything. But I know why I'm doing this. Because you are the light in my life. You are. I'll be a fool for you. I'm willing to do whatever you ask me to do. I'll start praying. I'll start reading books. I'll start I changing the way I act. I'll start I'll do anything. Anything to be accepted by you again. And I know I know I shouldn't even be asking this because you had offered yourself to me. And I pushed you away. I rejected you out of fear, not out of realizing that you weren't the one. On the contrary, now I realize more than ever that you're the one. That you're perfect for me. I was the one too blind to see. I was the one too scared to move in. I don't even know what to call it. To move in the part of me that knew I knew you. Instead of allowing the other part of me to continue to rule my life in fear. I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be sure. I want to be certain. I want to be clear in my thought. I want to know exactly what I want, exactly how to get it. I want you. And the way I know that I'm going to get it is by being the man that I know you wanted me to be and that you deserve me to be and that I want me to be. I know that I have no business asking you this. 
but I'm going to anyway. Because I would regret it for the rest of my life. And I already have the regret of walking away from you under my belt. I'm not trying to add another one. So I got to ask you this question. Will you please forgive me? Forgive me for not knowing any better. Forgive me for being a fearful coward. Forgive me for not knowing that I'd be right back to where I walked away from. I don't want anybody but you. I don't want anything but you. If you'll have me, I'm finally willing to accept the love that you had given me in such <laughs> grandiose, grand quantity. It was just so much love. If you'll have me, I would love to love you. I would love to. Because I love you.